Hello and welcome back to Tales of Symphonia with me, Matthew Caddis, aka Poogie. So today we will um, actually um, do something about that unicorn, of course, because uh, we did visit um, the um, uh, Thorda Island thing and apparently um, um, Corinne, that's it, Corinne is congratulating Sheena on her first um, summer spirit, apparently. Yeah, well, for good reason. We'll find out more about that a bit later. She did ter they did terrible things to Corinne. Yeah. Why does it remind me of a certain other, um, like, well, I can't say dog, cat, dog-like animal? I'm thinking of Red 13 from uh, Final Fantasy 7 here. Yeah, except um, the major difference is that um, Corinne is smaller and um, cuter and d doesn't have the voice of Saitama from um, One Punch Man. Anyway, that being said, we have another skit, The Truth. You can't handle the truth! Man, what was Clara doing? I don't know. Hmm. I'm guessing because um, of what happened with the X-Sphere. And, well, because they made them humans. Yeah, that is quite a lot to digest still. Even after accepting that um, what um, Lloyd is wearing is, I guess, the soul of his dead mother. Anyway, that being said, let's actually, um, I guess, head for Lake Umasi. Because we can't get into the um, thing yet because of the various reasons. Mostly, of course, the um, thing. So, yeah. So... Uh, there you can see Hakanesia Peak in the distance. You still can, because I've used a holy bottle here to get past the enemies in the in the third uh, uh, dock or whatever. Anyway, that being said, we'll need to use Undine here. Why not? She's the summon spirit of water! It's not like she's Leviathan or anything like that! Yeah, that is a thing. Rain and Colette and, uh, okay, fair enough. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you're qualified. Colette and Sheena. Okay. You're an adult. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, that's enough said. That makes enough sense to me. That is especially as an anime fan. I know what um, rain means. Anyway, we'll summon Undine. And hopefully um, Undine can take them underwater. Yeah, in the similar fashion to as in... Um, how do we put this? Oh! The unicorn got up! Fair enough! That simplifies matters. Apparently the unicorn is out of the water. And apparently <laughs> they can walk on water now. Yeah, sure. Sure. More biblical references, I guess. Sort of. Um, I don't think there were unicorns in the Bible, but never mind. I can't read the dialogue there, seriously. Doesn't clash well with the background. Apparently, um, there's something about Martel. Okay. Well, I guess they're kind of mythical beings. Unicorns can uh, do that. Are we going to try and use it to heal Pietro? You'll be fine. We don't know what the Angel Toxic Courses will do to you after um, 
Well. Yeah, namely Pietro. Pretty much. She won't. She'll eventually become an angel, but we don't know what will happen after we go to the Tower of Mana. But, um, apparently the unicorn's gift is to use its horn. Send down a huge, uh, power of light there. In fact, yeah, it's just lost its horn! Now it's just become a regular horse! And apparently it's fading away! Oh, um, okay. Is it gonna work like a phoenix then? I guess. So I don't think it'll tell us which one is uh, a Dumbledore. Anyway, that being said, uh, yeah, they could just walk on water. So uh, that hu uh, that unicorn just disappearing was quite sad, to be fair. Ouch, you didn't have to put it like that, Kratos! Um, yeah, I guess. So we're going with the Phoenix Principle, are we? Uh, fair enough. Okay. Me too. Yeah, mainly to heal Pietro. You're still uh, wanting to do that, here, Colette. Uh. Um, maybe best not to tell Lloyd just yet. But anyway, now uh, Rain has apparently learned Resurrection, which is an excellent spell. Because not only does it um, revive dead people, it also heals those who are living as well to full health. It is that good of a spell. It does take a long time, however, to cast, as we as we will see when we use it a bit later in the game. I'm guessing that's um, Boltzmann's technique. In that case, that would be the um, some of the cities. Okay. I was going to say the Tower of Mana, but that'll do. Okay, with that said, um, we have another one. To become an angel. I think she's pretty much said it to us a lot of times. She does want to become an angel. Are you sure? Ugh. Far worse is to come, Lloyd. Seriously. Is it? To not have the ability to eat, sleep, um, feel? That's a lousy sort of existence, if you ask me. At least, in-game. Anyway, that being said, let's leave here. And I am going to go, I think, to... Believe it or not, over here, and we get another one. Do goddesses get sick? Yeah. You can't get a cold anyway. You can't even feel the cold. Anyway, that being said, let's go over this way, and, um, well, let's see, we're in Asgard. And we do want to be here in Asgard, because we can speak to, um, Aisha, Lina, and who's the third one? I don't remember. Uh, but we can speak to her. So, yeah. So, if we go towards her house, which is on the right side of the town, um, we can indeed do that. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if I want to go into the pack house there. Seriously, the Pac-Man references are all over the place. Again, this game is made by Namco, so of course they'd use their mascot. Yeah, thank goodness it's not the one from the Ghostly Adventures, let's just put it that way. But, um, 
that being said, let's get out of here and head up here. And we have a choice. Uh, this is Aisha's house. So let's speak to either her or Lynar. Oh, uh, quite good. We managed to find... Yes, although we've not been able to summon it just yet. Oh, great. She's in Ruin Maniac mode. Well, um, this whole um, talk session is going to uh, put Lloyd and Genius to sleep. Literally, I am not joking. It is going to put them to sleep. And even he's going along with this, seriously. Well, um, good night, uh, um, Lloyd and Genius. Better you than me. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. You're going to go to sleep. And you're going to like it. You call that brief? That's not brief, man. It put Lloyd and Genius to sleep. That is not brief at all. Not at all. Um, sure, sure. Just don't put him to sleep again. Oh, our six. Even <laughs> Kratos. Um, what? Are you talking about your sister there? I don't think she'd like that. Anyway, that being said, I guess we will leave here and, um, and, um, indeed head to, well, I've already been to the Battleproof Mausoleum. The only other place to go is back to, um, I guess either Hyma or, um, uh, well, we'll see. So, yeah. So indeed, we'll leave uh, Asgard and see where we go next. Where is it that we shall go? Well, we're about to find out. So yeah, and it is to Hyma. You can actually get here very quickly if you go from... Um, where is it now? I can't even think now. Um, forget it. Luin, that's it. Luin. Yeah, probably not anything good. So what is it? What is causing all this ruckus? Well, believe it or not, it's Clara, whom the people think is a monster. Yeah, I don't think it's anyone's prey. Yeah, I don't think Clara's in any mood here. And Clara's gone over there. No, I think you're going to kill it there. You know that? I don't think Dor would have liked that if he was still alive, I suppose. Okay, she dropped something, did she? What is it then? The key to the... T How did she have that? Yeah. Maybe we should... Um... Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Good idea. Anyway, with that said, we've got the tower key. So on the next episode, we will actually head to the Tower of Mana. So until then, I will see you later. Goodbye!